I've had some users reach out to me and ask about sharing their Adobe Captivate published e-learning projects. You know, you don't have a learning management system perhaps at your disposal. Um, perhaps setting up your own web server is too complex for you. So today I'm going to share with you a nice easy way to share your projects online. So here I have a very simple Adobe Captivate 2019 e-learning project. So I'm going to go to the publish icon from the toolbar there and select publish for devices. And we're just going to call this sample project. That's fine. The important thing is we got to check off zip files. And because we're not uploading to a learning management system in this case, uh, we'll just leave that disabled. Uh, if of course you have any uh, type kit um, fonts that you're using in this project, you would enter in the domains uh, for them here. And if you're testing it on this site, you're going to need to add the uh, parent level domain star.adobe.com. But we'll go ahead and produce this without because I think that's just a system font or a web safe font there. So this project's now complete. What we're going to do is switch over to the Adobe eLearning community, and this is eLearning.adobe.com. And I'm gonna create a new post. And uh, this would just be like a post uh, that you're doing for a blog post or a video post. Uh, in this case here, I probably check off showcase, and we'll just call this here uh, uploading a sample project to the Adobe e-learning community and uh, so you'll notice here that you know where we traditionally might post uh, a YouTube video or some multimedia like a, a JPEG file that helps to uh, create attention for your post uh, next to it is add captivate project this is strictly HTML5 and strictly a zip file so we're going to click on that we're going to click on drop files anywhere to upload or select files I prefer select files and on my desktop should be the zip folder that contains the project that we just published I'm going to click on open give it a moment to upload the sample project and once that's done you can insert into the post and of course, like all posts, you might want to add some uh, some text that explains what this project's all about. Uh, provide maybe a summary. Um, here we can put in uh, whatever we wish. Maybe a thumbnail. Let's uh, let's do some categories because of course it won't let you. Tips and tricks might be a good one. And we'll choose publishing. And now we're good to go. In this case here, because I'm going to add something to this, the video that we're creating right now, we're going to save draft and preview, but just so you can see how this works. So when once you've published your project, users will be able to play the Captivate project by clicking this play button. And of course, it will open your Adobe Captivate project into a new window and there's the project that I just published. So what's great about this is not only can I share my project with fellow Adobe Captivate professionals, but I can also share my project with any stakeholders who might have an interest in previewing this project before we move forward and publishing it to a learning management system. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.